Hey there, today I will share five travel tips for your first time riding in an airplane. If you have never flown before, you are going to feel so much more relieved and prepared for your first flight with my travel tips. The number one tip I have for you is to make a packing list. And if you need help, you can scan this barcode while you're watching this video, or I will have it in the first comment for you. It's going to be a packing list of 75 items that I have packed for several different vacations, just to give you a guide. After you have made that packing list, you need to decide whether you are going to pack in a carry-on suitcase or a checked bag. And that means, a checked bag is per the airline's regulations. That suitcase is too large to fit in the overhead bins if you are carrying it into or onto the airplane. A lot of travelers pack only in a carry-on suitcase like we do for three reasons. Number one, they do not want to wait at baggage claim for their checked luggage to get to them. They want to start that vacation. Number two, they want to save money and not have to pay for a checked bag. And number three, to minimize the risk that the airline may lose their luggage if they check it. You can buy those luggage trackers if it gives you a better peace of mind, but the large airlines have a pretty good tracking system. The luggage tracker has to be synced to your phone, so make sure you're using the right one. We use AirTags and they have a large area that it can search for your bag with our iPhone. But a luggage tracker is not absolutely necessary for your first time packing for an airplane ride. All right. We also recommend not buying airline tickets through third party companies unless you have really, really like had a lawyer read through the fine print. We suggest that you have more rights as a passenger, um, as a traveler with luggage, if you have bought that ticket through the airline. Another important travel essential before your first flight and every flight is two things. Number one, your passport or your driver's license, whatever identification you are using for that trip. And number two, you need your boarding pass or a ticket. They're the same thing. They have this barcode and airport security scans it so that you can get into a secure location of the airport. And then number two, when you get to your airplane, you have to scan that barcode to be allowed into the airplane. You also want to pack two other important documents. One, your health insurance card, just in case something happens on your vacation, like it did to my mom. And then number two, an important thing that we recommend is that you have a list of all your necessary or must have medicines that you're on. Because what happened to my mom is she had an accident in another state from where she lived and I had to take her to the eye doctor and they had, she thankfully had a list of all the medicines that she took. Here's a travel hack for your important medicines or your insurance card if you really do not want to pack it. Take a picture of your health insurance card and your list of medicines, and then you're going to open up the notes app on your cell phone. This way you do not have to pack those cards. You're going to open a new note and name it vacation to Bolivia or wherever you are going. Then you can see the camera at the bottom of your notes screen. You choose your photo and you tap on the ones that you want to be in that note on that page and tap add and there you go. They will always be there. If you do have medical issues, an important tip is to, when you are first buying your airline ticket, make sure you tick the box, medical issues or hard of hearing or need wheelchair assistance. And then another thing to remember is that you will have to wait 15 minutes to maybe 30 minutes on a wheelchair. So add that to the time you arrive at your airport or before you can leave, like you'll get off the airplane and then you're waiting for a wheelchair like my in-laws did. Um, they had to wait like 15 minutes and they said, forget it. And they just walked the long way. Some of those terminals are almost a mile long. So having a wheelchair may be necessary for you, um, but just know that it may take that much more time after your flight or before your flight. 
This is the case usually around high vacation times in the summer or around holidays. You also want to plan your airport outfit before your flight. And my tip is to dress comfortably. I have a video of what not to wear in the airplane that will help you of what I have learned being uncomfortable or getting stains from other passengers inside the airplane. So the, I think that video will help you not wear unnecessary things and it's going to help you not have that added stress by watching that video. My slogan is be less stressed because you stress less. I know it may seem overwhelming watching this video, but just take it in stride, make a list, and then come back and watch it again another time. Okay, the night before your flight, I want you to make sure you're charging your electronics beside your keys or your backpack and luggage because you do not want to forget that portable charger that can uh, charge your cell phone while you're at the beach all day or while you're touring all day in another country. Um, I do also pack my charger for at night that comes with the plug and the block that goes into the wall. I have forgotten my portable charger before, so take that tip from me. <laughs> I've made all the mistakes, so you don't have to. 24 hours before your flight takes off, you can then check in online on your computer or on your the airline app on your phone, and then you will get your boarding pass or your ticket, okay? And that you want that barcode. You've checked all the boxes. It's going to ask you a few questions like, yes, you know the liquids rule, which I will talk about in a little bit. And that gives you access through airport security, that little barcode or your ticket. Now the next day, it's time for your flight. You're going to arrive at your airport. You're going to have your identification and your boarding pass or your ticket. If you are checking luggage because that carry-on is too large or you just do not want to take your luggage through airport security, you need to go to the ticketing counter. That is where you're going to talk to a person and hand over your luggage and maybe pay a fee. But if you're not doing that, you can just take your carry-on suitcase, your personal item bag, and your identification and ticket to the airport security line. The most important travel tip to help you be less stressed and to actually make your flight on time is to arrive at the airport two hours before the plane boards. So airplanes or airlines make you get on the airplane 30 minutes to 45 minutes before the takeoff time listed on your boarding pass. So if it's a 210 departure, that means they're going to make you get in line at 140, okay? That means you need to be inside the airport by 1140 a.m. for two reasons. Number one, because of the long lines in airport security. And number two, because airlines board the airplanes, they make you get on 30 to 45 minutes before that flight takeoff time. I do have a video that talks about the airline terminology that I think might help you. I'm trying to explain some of them or define some of them or give you the other wording or vocabulary for some of those terms. Um, I will put it right there and you can watch those videos at any time during the video. One helpful travel tip is to know that at large airports, your airline may only be departing from the C terminal or the C concourse. So make sure that's where you park. The next travel tip is about going through airport security. If you do not have TSA pre-check, there are six things that you will need to take out potentially while you are standing in that airport security line. One, you're going to show your identification and then your boarding pass or that barcode to the TSA officer. And then you would put that in an easily accessible pocket and here are the six things that you're going to take out. Number one, you're going to take off your shoes and put them in one of the bins. You're going to take out your bag of liquids and put the, it in there. You're going to take off any jewelry, like not your wedding band or wedding ring, but uh, like any metallic jewelry. You'll need to take it off most likely because it can set the alarm off, which is not bad. It just means it will delay you about five minutes for them to wand you or that section. 
You're also going to take off your belt. You're going to take off your jacket or anything that looks like a jacket. And another tip is you cannot have even a sweater or a jacket tied around your waist because somehow it blocks the screening machine from checking that space that it's taking up. And then you're also going to take out any electronics that are larger than a phone. So that means your phone just stays in your backpack or your suitcase. The reason that the Transportation Security Administration wants these things in a bin and not inside your backpack or your suitcase is because the machine cannot screen those items covered up like that. And I have one travel update, I think, I think we're not going to have to take out our liquids bag anymore, but it is not on the tsa.gov website yet. So stay tuned, click that bell beside subscribe so you can find my 2024 travel update video in January. But your items will still have to be in the bag for liquids, but you will not have to pull it out anymore. I think most of us have not had to pull out our liquids bag this entire summer and fall season, but we're being prepared so that we're less stressed on the day of travel. Okay. And here's the airport security 311 rule. Any liquid has to be packed in a 3.4 ounce container or smaller. And then all of those little containers need to be in a, a clear quart sized bag that zips. I have a whole video on that that I will also link for you. Now, one thing to note is if you are flying to anywhere in Europe, know that their quart sized clear bag is smaller than even our Ziploc quart sized bag. So you will probably have to be asked very nicely to transfer your liquids into their liquids bag. When you're going through the security checkpoint, you have to go through a couple of them when you're going through Europe or landing in Europe for some reason. But just know that before, before you even pack your suitcase. Right after airport security is a bunch of monitors with flight departure information. So if your plane has now parked at a different gate because the other plane is broken, you will see it up there. But our travel tip is that usually your app for that airline updates where your plane is now parked at before those monitors change. That's been our experience. You're just going to check that app every once in a while. You're going to listen to the gate agent when you do arrive at your gate where the airplane is parked. And that leads us to tip number four, what to do when you're at the boarding area of your gate's parking spot. Number one is you're being observant. If this is your first time flying, then you're going to watch what other people are doing. They may show, they may have to put their barcode down on a little screener machine and then they can walk on into the airplane down the jet bridge. Just watch and then listen also to the gate agents because they may say, okay, we're now ready to board area three or zone three and you don't hear it and now there's no more space for your suitcase. One tip is to look on your boarding pass or your ticket, and that's going to tell you your boarding zone or your boarding number. Different airlines use zones or numbers or clever names for each boarding group, but just know that some airlines would, will have like six boarding groups before they even start everybody else getting on that plane. So if you're group three, you may have to wait through six other zones before it's your turn to get on the airplane, which leads us to the next important tip. And that is to know that there is a chance that there's not going to be any more overhead bin space for your carry on suitcase. So they might say last minute, Oh, I'm sorry. We've got to check your suitcase. There's no more bin space. They're telling us for that reason, you're going to do two important things. You're going to already have all of your important must have medication in a little baggie, or you've packed it in your backpack and you can move it easily. Another tip is to have any of your electronics in your backpack already, because if those go into the belly of the airplane, some electronics, um, can, they're combustible so they can catch on fire and that's not where you want a fire. <laughs> 
flight attendants have a tool or this baggie and all these gloves if your battery overheats for some reason um, inside the cabin of the airplane. Once you get inside the airplane for your first ever airplane ride, you have an assigned seat on your boarding pass. So you will go there and that's where you're supposed to pack your your carry-on suitcase and then your personal item bag fits under your seat. One tip is that sometimes you have a boarding pass and it says your seat is not assigned yet. You do not have to worry about that until you get to the gate. Just when you see the gate agents at the counter typing away, go up there and say, hey, this says no seat assignment yet. What does that mean? I bought a ticket. Like, don't panic, okay? Um, just ask them, if there's a seat assignment yet. And they'll probably say, yes, we're going to load those in about 10 minutes. One other tip you may not need to know, but is whenever the seatbelt sign is illuminated above your airplane seat, that means you must be in your seat. So it's not going to go off or turn off until about maybe 15, 20 minutes after you've gotten into the airplane. And remember, you've already boarded the airplane like 30 minutes before it took off. So that's like an hour. So use the restroom before you board the airplane. If you need help or some tips and tricks on how to organize the toiletries that you're going to pack in your liquids bag or your toiletry kit, I have a video for you that I will link up here or up there if there's more room and in the first comment with all of the other information. I also want you to say hey if we have not met yet. All right, you are going to be so prepared and relaxed making your debut inside that airplane one day because you followed these travel tips. I hope they help. Thanks for your time.